They near grew up as young teens together on Kirk's many visits to Ed and Doris's house over the years. It is a very sweet love story, how they discovered each other, and their friendship love began as they looked each other over and the he thought, my, she is pretty. And the she thought, ooh, he's grown up tall and handsome. But folks, let me tell you, beyond that attraction that is obvious, for all of us to see is a beauty of the heart that says, I am here and now going to commit to love you forever. Since the summer day of 2016 in the Oker Brethren Church parking lot, when Kirk and Taylor first shared their hearts with one another, their relationship has been one based on the salvation they both received from our loving Lord Jesus. Kirk says sheepishly that he found he could even love someone more than a 1972 mock. Kirk and I were talking one day and he brings up Taylor. And from the tone of the voice and the way he talked about her and the way I saw her on social media, you know, I knew there was something special going on between them both. And anybody who can put up with Kirk and his uh, Mustang is truly a gift. I can still remember the first time that Kirk told me about Taylor. I, mean, I could just tell that he really thought she was something special uh, just by the way he talked about her and everything he said. And he recognizes how good God was to him to send a woman who knew a thing or two about cars herself, the Kirchhoff girl. From our first date, I knew right at that moment, he was looking out for me. A girl, a girl that was mature, confident, and stood firm in her beliefs. Most importantly, a girl who pursued me intentionally. You truly accepted me for who I am. These characteristics were that of Jesus and his unconditional love. I think about our first date all the time and I catch myself wondering what Kirk sees in me to want to pursue me. I often wonder why God has placed me with a great man like yourself. I'm so proud to call myself Mrs. Kirk Hutchins. Blessed and sanctified with your Holy Spirit, Kirk and Taylor as they come now to join in marriage. Grant that they may give their vows to each other in the strength of your steadfast love. Enable them to grow in grace and love and peace with you and with one another all the days of their lives. The day has come. The planning is complete. The participants are ready to do their parts, and the bride and groom are ready to obey the scripture that I read to begin the ceremony of submitting themselves to one another in the fear of the Lord. And so it is that on January the 9th, 20 and 21, we shall witness a communion of two sweet souls. The she, Taylor Kircher, created by the creator for the he, Kirk Hutchins, who willingly gives rib and the whole of himself to accept his beautiful bride. Love is patient. Love is kind. Love is gentle. Love is kind. It does not envy. It does not boast. It is not proud. It is not rude. It is not self-seeking. It is not easy anger. It keeps no record of wrongs. Love does not delight in evil, but rejoices in the truth. It always protects. Always trusts, always hopes, always perseveres. And now these three remain faith, hope, and love. But the greatest of these is love. And as they share the bread and the cup in remembrance of Him, they will be committing to love each other with a Jesus agape kind of love. Here we have a young couple that say by their actions and by their attitudes that they don't really care what the world says about marriage and relationships and what love 
ought to look like. They commit to share love the Jesus way. Uh, be each other's best friends, accuse slowly, forgive quickly, and live every day to the fullest. Um, you know, life comes at you fast, so just soak in every minute of every day, of every month, of every year. Today, as I watched you and Taylor exchange vows, I was filled with pride, and I'm confident that you and Taylor will start on a wonderful journey filled with the love and happiness that can only come as a man and a wife. May the two of you always treat each other with love, compassion, and kindness. Pray that I am a leader to you, someone you can trust, someone you can lean on, cry to, pray with. I vow to honor you with all of my heart till the day they put me in the ground. I vow to rely on Christ when times are rough and good. I vow to make decisions that are best for our family. I vow to love and to cherish you in a Christ-centered relationship forever. I pray that he guides us throughout our marriage. I pray that the Lord is with us through every kiss and every kiss. Kirk, I vow to love you forever. I vow to never leave your side when life is hard. I vow to stand by your side in good and bad. I vow to take care of you when you're sick and when you're, when you're healthy. I vow to always do best in being your helper and submitting to you. I vow to encourage you to be the best leader of, for our family and support the you and the decision you make for us. Kirk will always be a brother to me. Uh, I will always be rooting for him. And it makes me so proud to see uh, both of you guys take such a big step. It's just amazing to see two people that love each other so much uh, just come together on a day like this. I'm so proud of the woman you've become, and Kurt, I'm so proud for you taking her. God made you, Kirk, part of the Bear Nation for Taylor. God made you custom made, a good engine, even computerized with 90% tread left on the tires, 351 V8 automatic, even a dual exhaust. God made you, Taylor, a crusader for Christ, perfectly charming, but a bit clumsy. Made you, Taylor, did God as a perfect partner for Kirk. Yes, you were made for you. Over time leading up to today, we've seen that you are so right for each other. Now we look forward to supporting you both, sharing your lives through the many years ahead. We're honored to welcome, to welcome you, Taylor, to the family. After all the hours we spent on pictures, planning and researching for your special day, I think everything turned out perfect. You both looked so handsome and beautiful. I even saw the cake tearing up at y'all, you know. <laughs> and Kirk, I'd have to say, you and Taylor remind me of some booster cables, plugs, something like that. Right, right? Yeah, yeah. Because when y'all are around, man, sparks are flying. <laughs> but there is so much to say about you and Taylor because they are not only great friends to me, but to everyone they meet. And I wish you both the best. And may y'all have love, health, and wealth. But most importantly, y'all have time to enjoy them all together. Here's how it works. Left foot on the clutch, ease off slowly as you put your right foot on the gas. And off we go, you may kiss. That's three. I knew we should have practiced with one. Family and friends, I present to you for the first time in all of human history, Mr. and Mrs. Kirk 